shields and their service weapons, officers in Fort Pierce are now wearing something new on their uniforms as they patrol the city. News Channel 5's John Shaneman has more on the debut of that department's body cameras. They stand at attention in their docking stations. The Fort Pierce Police Department signed a five-year, $450,000 contract earlier this year for 100 body cameras to outfit their road patrol officers to show transparency and build trust with the community. It also documents what happens because a lot of times you'll be on a scene or you'll have something happen and you'll get four or five different versions. The call for body cameras became louder after the shooting death of an unarmed DeMarcus Seamer in 2016. A grand jury cleared the two officers involved of any criminal wrongdoing, though they were both let go from the force. That grand jury investigation called for improved training and body cameras. Department policy dictates when the cameras are turned on. It pretty much it's any encounter that you have with someone or any event, whether it's criminal or non-criminal. A unique feature is the cameras will activate any time an officer draws their weapon. What type the of video will be saved on, anywhere from 30 days to 99 years, depending on the situation. The cameras are actually always recording in a 30-second loop without audio. Once you activate this, it will pick up from that point and continue to record and capture the entirety of the event. When the officer is through with his investigation, click it. Uh, Sergeant McDermott says officer reaction so far has been mixed. Some are reluctant and others think that it's the greatest thing. It's, uh, it varies from personality to personality. Well, the department is putting together a short video for its website to show residents the cameras are now on the job as well. In Fort Pierce, John Shaneman, WPTV, News Channel 5.